everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna to be looking at the September Smart Ass and Sass box. I honestly can't even remember. It's either gonna be the September or the October. If you've never heard of this box, it is a hilariously sassy, sarcastic, snarky subscription box. It's a lifestyle type box, meaning you'll get lifestyle type items. They do have three different price points that you can choose from. You can get the shirt only for $19.95, the box only for $39.95, which is the one I get, or you can get the big box, which combines them all together for $54.95. Every box will have, I think, between six and nine products. It really just depends on their selection they have for that month, and the theme changes every month as well. And the value is not super high, but the quality of the products are usually really, really good and really usable, which is a plus. Okay, you're pretty effing awesome. Keep it that way. Here's some digital content to go along with this month's box. Let's see what we got going on. Apparently the September theme is living my best life. And that is a little bit of the cover art on the booklet that we would have received. I don't know if this is a one-time thing or if they're gonna continue to just be digital. I'm sure it cuts down on cost. It says, happy mind, happy life. Okay, okay, that tagline sounds like something you'd read in a four-month-old woman's magazine while you wait at a doctor's office. Let's be serious for a second. There's nothing wrong with sappy, motivational, pillow-stitch phrases as long as there is truth in them. And damn, is this one a truth bomb. Like most people, when I think about my upbringing and really my life up until this point, I pick out all the negative things that have happened to me. Trust me, there was some serious blank and it wasn't until I met my now husband, moved away from home and started making my own choices that I saw the light. By light, I mean the metaphorical awakening of my unconsciousness sounds serious, but it's totally not. I slowly began to realize I really only had to consult with myself on decisions that affected my life. As a chronic people pleaser, this was news to me. You mean I can alter my career path without worrying if I'd hurt someone's feelings? I can buy clothes for myself and not feel shame because that money could have been used for something else? I can say no to a social gathering because I'm tired and I don't need a better excuse? What the F? This is when my life clicked. Boom, awesome career, a smart ass and sass, supportive group and friends, a husband who functions as my teammate, about to purchase my first home, and most importantly, a clear and healthy mind. Oh yeah, and two adorable cat babies who are my life. People pleaser who? Just kidding. I still have some unlearning to do on that one. Living my best life has been all about the mind shift I made to get to where I was. I'm not typically a look at the bright side kind of person, but I'm convinced my brain and I am deserving of joy. I protect, advocate, and love and honor my true self. This is not to say I don't have bad days because I freaking do. I just learned that my best life is bred from my own empowerment. I deserve an awesome life and so do you. Okay, enough with the sentiments. Get out there, live your best life, whatever that means to you. And this one was written by Michaela in the Smart Ass and Sass team. First up is this baggie, Trav Sest. When all you talk and think about is the past and future trips. Okay, travel obsessed. What is in here? Ooh, okay. This is a little baggie that hangs. A procrasta packing. The act of thinking about packing a suitcase instead of actually doing it. <laughs> That's cute. What is this? Tripatite. <laughs> when you eat loads more than usual just because you're on vacation. A tripatite. A travitude, when you start feeling grumpy and sassy because you haven't traveled in a while. That one's definitely me. We used to go on yearly vacations and lately we just haven't been able to do it since COVID and I've just been so bummed about that. 
Uh, that is really cute. That is the Wonderlust Packing Cubes. Let's hit the road, grab this four piece set of gray packing cubes for your next stay away from home. Includes a small, medium, and large packing cube and a one shoe bag. Hand wash or spot clean, it's a $26.95 value. So I believe the baggie that it all came in, this also counts. Next item is a bowl. And I love that it was put in there and it didn't break. It was wrapped in packing like the packing paper, but not totally wrapped. It says, I'm eating junk <laughs> and watching rubbish. <laughs> this is like a nice little candy dish. I can imagine having candy or pretzels or something like that in this bowl while you're sitting there snacking. It's not a huge bowl, but it's good for that. Oh, it called it a rubbish cereal bowl. See, I wouldn't use it for cereal, but I guess it could be used for cereal. $16 value. Um, I'm eating junk and watching rubbish. Obviously, don't judge me. This six inch diameter ceramic bowl is food and dishwasher and microwave safe. And I love that it's all of that safe. The food and the microwave and the dishwasher, awesome. Next, there's a little enamel pin. It says, WTFing through life, bite me. <laughs> That's such a truth. You know, bite me. <laughs> I'm just trying to make it through the day, yo. You don't need to be all up in my stuff. Oh man, $10.95 value for that pin. Wow, these enamel pins can be pretty pricey. I wouldn't have thought that they'd be that, I guess when you custom make them, maybe that's why they're so pricey. Okay, next we have a shower cap, which I am not gonna undo because I will not be keeping it. The shower caps are not something that I use. But this is from Zoe, it's either Zoe or Zoe, Isla. It is 100% waterproof and suitable for all hair lengths and types practical and chic this cap features a front bow with an elastic band and is secure and comfortable around the head keeps your hair dry and styled so i guess there are uses for this shower cap i just don't have any uses for it at this time oh wow the zero f's shower cap here is the design of the cap and i'll just show you this part and you can see, um, hopefully you can see it, it just says zero Fs kind of all over it with the green. That's a $49.99 value. That's, that's a lot for a shower cap, but I don't have shower caps, so I really don't know how much they are. And if it really is 100% waterproof and does what it says it's gonna do, then hopefully it's worth every bit of that $50 because wow. All right, the next thing is a little notepad. It says, I don't sugarcoat blank. I'm not Willy Wonka. <laughs> oh, no. This is a $9.95 value. I'm glad they're not saying it's more than that because I mean, it is literally just, it looks like it might stick whenever you peel it off and you can stick it somewhere, but it's just a little notepad. It does have a cute design on it. The little gummy bear down there, the lollipop. Although I would have liked to have seen maybe a chocolate bar down there, especially if you're referencing Willy Wonka it would make more sense to have chocolate candy on it as well. The next thing, which is actually the last thing, is this little board here. And it says, that's what she said. <laughs> it's like a little cheese board. Oh, that's so cute. $24.95 value for this cheese board. It's not about the size of the wood, but the quality of the bits on top. Load up this tiny wood board with all your favorite snacks hand wash and warm soapy water and air dry. I don't need a lot of cheese boards, so that will probably end up in a future giveaway. And I do like that it just says, that's what she said. That's hilarious. Really nice play on the phrase of that's what she said. This one had a lot of higher ticket items in it. I'm gonna have to just tell you the total value up there. But the last thing that I usually show you guys is the shirt. And the shirt of the month says, you can and you will, cause you're a bad blank and it has a cute little lips on the shirt. Someone putting on lipstick. It does look like a nicely designed shirt for the month that, that would kind of fit with the theme. But overall, I think it was a pretty cute selection of items. I don't think any of them were too, too sassy. Although this one, if it really did say, I already forgot what the shower cap was gonna say. I just don't wanna open it. But the packing cubes, those are always great. I might keep these because I've given away pretty much all of my other packing cubes. I don't know if I've left any for me. This is cute and I am so happy that it arrived intact. This pin is cute. Like really all of it is cute. 
Um, I just don't know how much use I'm gonna get out of all of it this time. Usually I get use out of most everything they send me. This time I don't know if I'll use everything. But that's good for you guys. It means you may have it in a future giveaway. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. Please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll be back soon with more videos. Bye everyone.